Hi, welcome to Lunar Logic Tarot. I'm Juju, and this is going to be a collective reading for the last half of 2021. So September, October, November, and December. Okay. Please say what resonates. Leave the rest. We'll have to wait and see how this plays out. But this is going to be a collective reading. Um, it could. It's going to be about anything involving the collective of humanity. Okay. So possibly even um, the Earth as well. So. Let's see. Spirit, can you please show me September 2021? Okay. October 2021. November 2021. And December 2021, please. This will be the overall energy for the month. And then we'll break it down with the major um, arcana in the tarot, okay? Let's see. Spirit, can you please show me September 2021, please? Okay. Hawk in reverse. Okay. Can you please show me... Okay. No, October 2021. Okay. Can you please show me November 2021, please? For the collective of humanity, show me November 2021. We have two. Okay, we have the high priestess in reverse, and we also have the cow in reverse. Okay. Let's see. I don't know if you can see that. One second. Okay. And Spirit, can you please show me December 2021 for the collective? December 2021 for the collective, please. Okay. We got the swan. And then we have the truth. Okay. <sighs> so, <clears throat> so in September of 2021, there's messages and omens and signs that we're not going to quite see or be, be able to quite understand. Um, also it's the number 11 card and the number 11 is a master number for intuition. So I feel like what we're going to have to do is that we may not be able to pick up on the messages or signs or, or omens from, from spirit or from nature, but we don't, we're going to be able to feel it. We'll have like a, an inner knowing, okay. Um, of what we need to understand. Um, I feel like that's going to be about seeing, learning how to fly um, meaning like learning how to see things from a higher vantage point from a, a larger scale. Okay. So before we go further, let's see. Now this is just only the major arcana. Okay. So let's see. Spirit, why is the hawk here reversed for September 2021? The hawk, ooh, the hawk here reverse, please. The star. So something during Aquarius season this year is going to that we may not understand until later part of the year. The star talks about having hope and faith. The star talks about having your wishes fulfillment. And then you see there's also a bird here. So there's going to be some type of communication in Aquarius season, I, I feel, um, that we're going to need to try to understand, that we may not fully understand until the end of the year. There's something about the water to you, pouring out the waters. Protecting the water is going to be very, very important. But having hope and faith in humanity, having hope and faith in healing as well, getting a wish fulfillment that we may not be able to see. We might be getting a wish fulfilled from the divine or from spirit that we are not quite able to understand, but we can feel it. We can feel some things are changing, right? So let's see why else this is here. Let's see. <clears throat> Spirit, can you please tell us why the star is here, please? Show me the star. Why is the star here? We're going to, okay. So we're going to have, we're, in, we're in, we may not be able to fully understand everything by September of next year, Okay. We're, we're being asked to have faith. 
We're at whatever it is that you believe in. Doesn't matter what you believe in. It's really all the same thing. Okay. We're asking to have hope. We're asking to have faith that that things will get better. To have hope and faith um, in ourselves and each other, and having being compassionate towards one another. Why is the Why is the star here for September twenty twenty one? Show me the star, please. What? Okay. Defend. Defense. Okay. Def so this is the sign of Taurus as well. So the Earth. Our star. So, I guess if you're looking through a telescope, if you were away from Earth, really, really far, it could look like a little star, right? I mean, it's not like a sun, but it could look like a little, a little star. So we're going to need to protect our, our hopes, our dreams, and heal. Protecting the water, defending the water as well. Protecting our star, protecting our home. Anything else about the star, please? Protecting the star. Okay. Protecting our wishes, yeah. And we're, we may not feel 100% inspired to do so, but I feel like we will. We will feel like we are not inspired, but something that's going to trigger us to be inspired to, to protect our star. We're going to feel the need to. We're going to feel it. Let's go on. So for October 2021, it's the Earth Fairy, okay, in reverse. It talks about physical health, grounding, and foundations, but it's in reverse. So October next year is going to be a, a, a difficult time, possibly. It's going to be hard. Um, But we're going to be called to protect the earth, protect each other, but also just to have a foundation. Or we could possibly be feeling that we're going to have the rug pulled out from underneath us because of something unseen. Also, something else for September. <clears throat> the star can represent a general because then we had defense, right? So there might be something about that come September that we're, we're going to need to protect from. There's something about pouring something on the earth. Something's going to be poured out on the earth. In the name of defense. And it's going to feel like by October that we're, we're losing our grounding. Physical health is going to be a concern as well. But also um, needing to protect our foundations, right? So let's see, protecting the earth, protecting the ele the elemental spirits, right? We're going to need to get back to more of the, um, what is it, uh, harmony path with earth. Some type of hope and faith is going to be poured out on the earth in the name of defense. I don't know if that makes sense. All right, show me the earth fairy reverse. Why is this here for October 2021? Show me the earth fairy. So this is coming out this way. So it's technically, it's crossing this energy. So it would be in reverse though. So <clears throat> I'm going to put it like this. So I feel like this energy here is crossing us in, in reverse because we're, we're, it's not a time to be reckless. It's a time to pay attention. It's a time to pay attention. We've been getting signs from, I don't know, something about a white dog or a dog that's going to be a messenger. Could be a star. I don't know. Maybe, what is that? There's, what is this in there a star? That's like the dog? A constellation? Why is that coming through? Okay, I think it's, um. now, I could be wrong, but I, I think it's called Cirrus. Sirius B or Sirius A, I'm not sure, but it's a dog co constellation. So I feel like we need not to be reckless about what we're doing. We need to pay attention to this dog, to this communication. There's going to be some type of quarrel with a star that's going to rock our foundations with this, this white dog. We need not to be reckless, though, with our communications with this, this white dog. 
There's going to be a messenger from this dog. You need, okay, show me the, okay, tell me why is the fool, we, yeah, we need to have some type of hope and faith, but we also don't want to be reckless either, not recklessly, because we have two cards of fighting, okay, we got defense and we got quarrel, don't be reckless with our fighting with this dog, we need to have hope and faith, we need to be grounded, we need to protect our home, our earth, our foundations as well. Anything else about the full car reverse? Okay, thanks, Spirit. Yeah, versatility. So you need to be versatile. Being able to adapt. And I feel like it's going to be very quickly. But we don't want to bend over backwards too much either. But we also want to be understanding. Being adaptable about a star. Again, there's another star. I've been getting this for a while now, this star thing. Okay, let's ask. So what is the deal with this star? This the star I've been getting. What is this about? Show me the star. Restlessness. Aries. There's something that's unsettling about a star. Okay. That we need to pay attention to. And this is the, uh, what is it called? I think it's called the Caduceus. That's going to bring healing. Okay. Moving on. I'm sure there's going to be more that comes through. But I just need to let it settle. Let the energy set for a minute. Okay. So... By November, you have the High Priestess in reverse. You have discernment, um, precision, prophecy, and vision in reverse. Again, we should, we're not able to see. We're not paying attention to signs or omens. Our intuition is being blocked. But also, there's things that are being revealed. No more mysteries. And you have three twos, a two, two, and two. I feel like a secret or secrets are going to be revealed that we won't, uh, there are the mystery or the veil is going to be lifted. Uh, we have a bird here, bird here, wings, a bird, another bird. A lot of communication. There's going to be a lot of communication, especially towards the end part of the year. We may not want to believe it or we're not going to be able to quite see it. But we're going to feel this communication. There will be a need to balance it out as well. I um, obviously have discernment, but need to balance it out. When it comes to, also there's going to be something uh, that's going to be imbalanced about our nourishment. With the cow here in reverse, um, about abundance, um, asking and receiving so rep, um, reciprocity but also um, when it comes to the earth there's something about food too towards the end of the year next year show me the high priestess reverse the magician Okay, so as a collective, there's another bird. So here we're going to be, um, the high priestess is like the, the female version of the magician, right? So we're going to, it's almost like a mystery is going to be re revealed about a manifestation or about a magician. This is also Virgo and Gemini. A, a mystery or something's going to be revealed about a Gemini or a Virgo or a magician. There's something that we're, we're going to, as a collective, be manifesting the truth. Because we also have the truth here. We're going to be manifesting clarity and understanding. We're, we're going to be in full manifestation mode as a collective in order to protect our home. 
but also to protect our abundance and our nourishment, protect the food, protect the land and air and water. There's something that's going to be, we're going to need to be able to adapt. And I feel we're going to have to adapt very quickly. We're going to need to learn how to adapt very quickly. Manifesting more abundance, manifesting clear sight, manifesting need to, un to have understanding. Show me the cow reverse. Why is this here? Why is the cow reverse, please? Oh, why is the cow reverse, please? Yeah, the moon. Hidden nourishments, hidden abundance. There is this woman here in scarlet. Somebody is coming. Somebody is manifesting something between two towers. Between two sides. Between one wolf and another. But it's being hidden. Also, we need to pay, our, pay attention to our intuition like we were being asked in September. Come November, we really need to pay attention. There might be a new moon or a full moon. I'm not really sure what, what the placements are in November of 2021, but we are met. Somebody here is manifesting either their intuition or someone collectively or someone we need to understand is manifesting secrets around abundance, around food. Um, it feels again, like a, almost like a sleight of hand, like you're not seeing this, but you're being shown this, a magician, someone that does wonders. But there's secrets here. There's hiding of abundance. There's hiding of nourishment or denial of that. But there's a f woman coming and dressed in scarlet or something, something like that. So let's see. Spirit, can you tell me more about this magician, please? What is this about for November 2021? Show me the magician, please. Lost in reverse. Someone's going to be with someone, again, another bird, another omen. And that's a cow bone or cow skull. But it's in reverse, so that's good. So we, as a, someone here is trying to manifest not a, lo a loss, trying to not lose something. Um, if you're looking at it more collectively, uh, we're going to be manifesting to not lose something. We cannot lose something. Or somebody here in our collective, rather that's at the world stage, which I kind of feel like it might be. Um, they're going to try to manifest not losing something, but they're hiding. See, there's a lot of secrets here. What is this moon hiding? Show me the moon. Show me the moon. Intuition. Okay. So we're needing to use our intuition. <clears throat> we're needing, got two fours as well. We're actually three because we have one and three. So that makes four. So yeah, we're really needing to understand our, how we manifest. We're going to get through meditations as well, through yoga practices possibly, needing to really go within. We're, there's also the sigil or the information for Archangel Gabriel. Okay, Archangel Gabriel. There's something that's going to be poured out communication-wise from Archangel Gabriel. Anything else? And then I want to look at this lady here. See, show anything else about, so we need to listen to our intuition, or we're going to intuitively know that somebody is manifesting not losing something, um, but also trying to hide the signs from us. We also have two 12s, 12 over here and 12 over here. They're both um, Pisces energy. So some things might be coming up. I have to go back and look at the other readings. Um, I normally don't remember my readings, um, but there's something that's going to be transpire, uh, transpiring um in Pisces seasons as well. Okay, anything else about this moon, please? Show me the moon. Impulsiveness. Aries energy again. This is somebody who acts impulsive and rides off into battle. We need to intuitively know that something is going down or secretly going down. Or we're going to intuitively know that something in November is going to be secretly going down and very impulsively. Aries is, talks of, is the Mar, is the uh, God of War. Um, 
is ruled by Mars, which talks about actions too, but we don't want to have impulsive actions. And then it's like ask, you know, hope for good luck. Hope for the best, prepare for the worst is what I'm hearing. So by November of 2021, we're going to have to hope for the best and prepare for the worst for something. That's being hidden from us. But we intuitively know that we're getting communication from the divine, from Archangel Gabriel possibly. Anything else about this moon, please? Okay. <laughs> Secrets revealed. Secrets in reverse. Scorpio energy. This is the month of Scorpio, November. So secrets are going to be revealed that we already intuitively knew about something that's going to, it's going to be impulsive, but we already intuitively knew it. We knew that something was coming or someone was coming that has like these wonders and will help us not lose something or somebody who has, does, who does wonders or who is like a magician who can really manifest it, There's secrets behind that that's going to be revealed. All right, show me the lady in the cloak, the red cloak. Show me the lady in scarlet. Show me the lady in scarlet, please. What, what is she, what is that? Show me the lady in scarlet. An organization in reverse, Capricorn energy. So again, we have cows. So the lady in scarlet is, it's almost like she's walking the middle way. Secret, maybe it's her who's the magician. Who will reveal the secrets um, and break it, we won't be able to harvest or they won't be able to harvest something you can't get what you haven't sown <coughs> excuse me but secrets will, will be revealed about this but uh, it's almost like some, I kind of feel like someone is coming from the moon I know that's kind of trippy but that's what I'm kind of feeling but there's something a tower or towers coming from the moon and it's a, a woman in scarlet but secrets will be revealed even possibly by ancient Egypt as well um, can't reap what you haven't sown not a bountiful harvest as of yet there might be an impulsive har uh, harvesting but there's nothing to harvest or someone might act impulsively and reveal secrets about harvesting okay I'm gonna go back anything else about this magician please Anything else about this magician, please? Flirtation. Indecision or decision reverse. And um, exaltation in reverse. Somebody here is, I'm hearing like flirting with disaster or is showing one side again showing one side of how it's i'm almost wanted to say propaganda but there there hasn't been a decision that's been made yet or there will be a wrong decision based on playing a game that nobody wants to lose somebody or possibly a gemini okay that hasn't made the decision on the loss of something but they're not exalted anymore <clears throat> also again a number two yeah and also another three so there's something here this person is no longer exalted anymore but they're not making a decision about how they're going to play this game and but do these signs and wonder because they don't want to lose something and there's a flirtation with an idea. I feel like there's a flirtation of an idea or communication of some kind. Okay. Moving forward. So, December <coughs> 2021. We have the swan. Okay. And it, says, it talks about transformation, trusting, uh, trusting the psychic gifts. So, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> so, that's also a number 12. So, we have three 12. So, maybe by... Oh, there was something about from the past on 12, 12, 2012. That's going to resurface. Maybe there's secrets about that. I heard some things came to maturation. I feel like it's the truth. Balancing of the truth. Of the four directions. That may not make sense. Let's see. 
Show me the swan. Why is the swan here for December? Show me the swan, December 2021. Show me the swan for December 2021, please. Okay, we have the Hierophant in reverse. So, breaking of contracts, breakdown of intuition, or well, intuition, but also a uh, breakdown of, of like institutions, authority, religious faction, breaking of contracts as well, divorces, bad deals. We're going to psychically know. That we need to accept and embrace our more spiritual selves. Um, and there's going to... I feel like there might even be some type of rebellion next year. That's really going to play out in September. Starting in September all the way through the end of the year. So by this time next year, if it's played out. It's like uh, bucking against authority. <clears throat> rebellion against oppressive um, institutions. And there's something too about a, about a bad pope. Or something about a pope is going to be crossed because they want to talk about the truth. Possibly. Show me the Hierophant reverse. Why is this here? Show me the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, okay. Detachment in reverse. So people are going to want another 11. So 11, 11, 11. So there could have been. Um, it's something that happened in 2011 that's going to also come out in December of next year. That we're going to find out about. So we're not quite able... To, okay, so they don't want us to detach from authority. But we are detaching from authority. Um, a lot of things are going to be starting... Because we are in the new era or the beginning stages of the era of Aquarius. So the age of Aquarius, right? So... <clears throat> It's like the old systems, our old paradigms are, are going to want to fight against that because they want to stay in power. But I feel like as a collective, we're going to be wanting to fight against that as long as we keep hope and love and compassion in our heart. We can. And let that ignite you. And let that ignite your heart. Um, I'm not sure how to say your name, but hi, Anna, um, Erdite Queen, I believe that's how you say your name. I'm not sure how to say it. This is not, I'm not answering questions right now. If you would like to get a reading, um, you can book, book one and pay for one if you like. Um, hi, Anna, um, I'm not doing answering questions, right? This is a collective reading, okay, for the last part of 2021. Um, if you would like to also, and if you would like to get a personal reading, I will, when this is done, I will link my email and my YouTube channel below and you can email me for pricing and for scheduling if you'd like to get a reading. Um, okay. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Anything else, please? Anything else about the Hierophant reverse? Okay. Yeah. Indecision in reverse. So we have decision reverse. Okay. So someone wasn't making a decision. So by... Between November and then December, there will be a decision that will be made. But I don't feel like it's going to be a fair one because we got the Libra energy in reverse and the seven is talks about imbalances. So something will be revealed and time will be up to reveal this, this, uh, this decision that was made. Anything else, please, about the higher front reverse, please? We have Revenge Reverse. Scorpio Energy. So, <clears throat> someone will make, the, make a decision to not seek revenge on the collective. But they also feel like time is up and it's not a fair decision. I feel like something or someone's going to be stopped in their tracks. Yeah. It very well could be a Gemini. So, we have truth here, obviously. Truth of the four directions. But also balancing out because 51 breaks down to six. Is trying to build a bridge and get over it. Or a bridge over troubled waters. Hmm. 
There's going to be some type of ancient truth that's going to be coming out, possibly even. Show me the truth. What's going to be revealed? Show me the truth. What's going to be revealed by December? Okay. The High Priestess Reverse again. These two are together. Okay, the High Priestess and the High... Uh, or the High Priestess and the High Priest. Or the, excuse me, the Hierophant. They're together. So secrets are going to be revealed about... Um, uh, going against authority or there's going to be a rebellion but not out of revenge but out of necess out of necessity this is the truth a, a major truth is going to be revealed anything else please? yeah about an empress or the mother possibly even the earth again there's another swan here there's going to be a secret that's going to be revealed a truth that's going to be revealed about the earth this is taurus and libra energy the mother, uh, in this case, the Empress is the Mother Earth. There's some type of code behind her. I don't know if you can see that, but there's some type of writing behind her. Some type of secret writing or some type of secret, like, knowledge. Some of the ancient knowledge is going to be revealed. I just, I keep hearing all will be revealed. Okay, anything else, please, about the truth? Anything else, please, about the truth? Temperance in reverse. Okay. So, and it's going to cause some chaos. It's going to cause some disruption as well. There will be a need for healing. Or there's going to be a truth that's going to be revealed about the earth. And that it's possible that the earth isn't able to heal right now. We need to do our part. Right? So, let's see. Hmm. Why is there not going to be healing? There's going to be a there's going to be a truth that's going to come out that we're not able to quite heal the earth, or there might be a new empress or a new rise to power, but in female form of some kind. All right. Anything else? Anything, show me the temperance river. Or excuse me. Show me the empress. What is this about? Is there going to be a truth about a, an empress? Yeah, ego in reverse. There's going to be a truth about a hierarchy or possibly a new leader of some kind. It might be a woman. but Or someone might be named empress. I don't know. Um, or there might be a female pope. Uh, I don't know. There might be the first female pope. But there's going to be something that we're going to need to let go of as well around our ego concerning our planet, our Earth. Show me the temperance reverse, please. Why is this here? Show me temperance reverse, please. Achievement. Ending of a cycle, completion. The Capricorn energy. Okay, someone here, their achievement is to cause some type of chaos in society. But it's also the completion of a cycle. There's going to, oh, there could even be something that comes out about the Sphinx. Okay, let's, let's go further. Alright, I want to kind of get a feel for all of that. So the first part of the year, we're going to feel possibly very, very defensive and not very inspired. Or we're going to feel something's going to trigger an inspiration in us to defend our star. Or there could be something to do with a general. Okay? Because we also have army. Alright, let's see. Show me defense. Why is defense here? Why is defense here? Show me defense. Let's put, let's put all the majors back in. Why is defense here? Show me defense. What are we defending? Defending our dreams? Defending our wishes? We're defending being getting out of our, our self-imposed mental prisons. Walking away at two eights. But we're walking into instability again. Also, are we following a leader or leaders that are not stable? 
or con artists as well. Anything else, please, about um, star or defense? Please show me defense. Why is this here? King of Swords, Aquarius energy. Again, two star, two cards of Aquarius. So something back, another another eagle. Okay, something back from this part of the year, it's the beginning part of the year, Aquarius season. We're going. It's going to be playing out. We may. We won't be able to make the connection. Okay, just yet. But it's going to start playing out, or we're going to understand it's playing out, but we won't quite see the connection in September of 2021. But this is someone who uses logic, who is very honest, but very intelligent, very transformative as well. Okay, so we're going to need to be versatile and protect a star, but there's just something about a, a star from a, this, this dog here. It's very impulsive. There's going to be a quarrel about it, and there, we're going to need to be very versatile. Show me the quarrel. What is the quarrel here? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Justice, okay? So Libra energy. And this is the month of October, which is Libra. There's going to be something. It doesn't matter if you're poor or you're a king. This is the justice card. This is the karmic balance. These are the scales that are being weighed. There's something that's going to be brought to justice. Or there's going to be a, a, a dose of karma <clears throat> coming around. Um, we don't need to be restless or impulsive, rather, as well. But we need to be versatile. But there's some type of communication from a star that is coming or something about that to bring balance what was this star about the star from the dog star show me the dog star what is this about yeah the world in reverse there we haven't quite got the lessons yet we haven't completed the cycle yet so we haven't quite moved forward okay Tell me more about this magician, please, for November 2021. Show me the magician. Yeah. Lots of, of regret, remorse, crying over spilled milk, but also not letting, it's like letting people drown. A great sorrow. This is also very Scorpio energy as well. This is Scorpio season. So, okay. There will be regret as, okay, there's going to be regret. Um, from the collective, I look at, as looking at someone as a manifester or what we've manifested. There's going to be a lot of regret about what we've manifested for ourselves as a collective as well. All right. What is this moon? Tell me more about the moon and the scarlet. Okay. Show me the moon. What else is going to be? Okay. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. Hermit. A spiritual path. But a lot of people don't know this, but the hermit's actually blind. And this is the star of Aquarius. And here's a dog. Again. Which wolf are we feeding? There's a spiritual path that we're going to be asked to take. What wolf or what dog or what star system are we feeding? I know this is kind of trippy. doesn't make a lot of sense, but. Harris Wells, what are you doing? Are you really trying to get readings off of mine? So, ladies, Anna and, uh, I believe that's how you say your name, Erd Erdite. I'm sorry if I, I'm probably butchering your name, so I really do apologize. People like this, Harris Wells, those types of people are scammers. And what they do is, is they get on people's live streams or YouTube videos and they try to scam people. So, what they'll do is they'll take your money and then they'll clean out your account. So... If I were you, I wouldn't, but that's the choice is yours, but this person's already been blocked. So, these are scammers. So, let's see.
but there's going to be something that we need to there's going to be a, a a path we we need to listen to our intuition but there's going to be a, a hidden path we need to go within to gain truth and clarity about though um we're not going to be able to quite see so that's why we have to go within but there's um there's which wolf do you feed all right show me the lady in the cloak who's this lady that's cloaked we have another eight so three eights I'm sorry, sevens. Another seven. There's something that we're going to need to... Oh, this just came out. Okay, so... This card just flipped out. There's something that we're going to have to defend. And this is going to bring a uh, very sudden upheaval. There's going to be a lot of destruction. There's going to be something that we have to protect. We need to go within to be able to discern what is real and what is not. I heard that song. You know when you sing that song when you're a kid? It's like, um, uh, what's the, I don't know the first part. It's like ashes, ashes, we all fall down. We're going to have to protect against that. We need to protect against misfortune again and protect one another as a collective and protect the earth. But first we have to go through our spiritual path. We need to go within to gain that truth and clarity. That's good. All right. So we're going to need to defend against this this cloaked woman. Okay. Let's see. Show me more about the Hierophant Reverse, please. Hierophant Reverse, please. The Devil. Four of Wands. Are we making a commitment to the Devil? I get a, I get like a, 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 a dark pope, a black pope. I don't know what that's called, but like a, a magician, but like a dark pope, like a not like an African American person, but I mean like the black robes is what I mean, like a, a black. I don't know what that's called, but it's like a black pope. But they keep saying that, and again, I'm seeing it here too. But it's toxic. It's a. It, are we are we making deals with that? We're going to need to protect against that. Protect the mother against that. Hmm. Show me the devil. Why is the devil showing up? This talks about toxicity, addictions, codependencies, lying, um, bad deals, con artists, anything, you know. This can even talk about death. This talks about major transformations, too. Even though it's not the death card, but it can talk about. Don't be mindful of contracts, too, that you signed. That you sign, okay? In December of 2021. Be mindful of things that you agree to. I don't feel like this, whatever this is, doesn't have this best interest at heart. All right, show me this empress. Get one. Actually, let me see the high priestess first. Show me the high priestess reverse. Okay, we have the nine of wands, and then we have judgment in reverse. <sighs> Wounded warrior because of a bad judgment, and, and all will be revealed. Wounded warriors because of a bad judgment. Or not, this is like final judgment here. But it's a bad call. This also talks about major wake-up calls as well. <clears throat> Let me fill this out. We're even though we'll we'll have wounded warriors, we'll feel like a wounded warrior. We need to not be weak though. There's truth about wounded warriors. You need to have boundaries as well. There's truth that's going to be revealed about this. But we need to pay attention to any clouded insights, though. Be mindful. Be mindful of people that make promises during this time. Be very mindful of people that make promises during this time. Okay, let's see. Let's go to the Empress. Show me the Empress. What is this? Be mindful of people who make promises about the Earth. 
but there's some type of writing here or it's like some type of sacred writing i don't know what this is but that's what it looks like to me show me the empress okay this is crossing it and it's in reverse commitments not made to the earth to the mother to the wife not being good stewards okay making a bad decision about that oh. show me the temper is we're gonna start paying the cost we're gonna pay the cost show me temperance reverse yeah page of pentacles reverse it's not a good offer it's not stable it's not stable it's very immature offer we need to pay attention to the earth big time especially next year and it's going to it's almost like it's going to come to a point next year if that makes sense at least that's what I, it feels like this is also about trouble there's trouble a brewing there's going to be trouble okay a lot of trouble um, this uh, can also be like very much a fear of change too. Anything else about temperance reverse? Yeah, queen of swords reverse, Gemini energy. This honesty, ki unkindness, um, cruelty, apathy. Yeah. This Gemini here is promising things, but it's not going to happen. They don't mean us good. This queen of swords reverse is someone who's very cold, very... Um, very much a liar it doesn't have to be a woman it could be um a man these are energies but i just feel like there's going to be something that's uh let's see anything else please queen or temperance in reverse please it's going to erupt chaos but i feel like because we're getting into the age of aquarius currently we're coming into that rebellion stage anything else please anything else for temperance in reverse yeah. We need to come out of anxiety to see the light. The sun. I feel like the sun, too, is going to have a major part in this as well. There's going to be, like, more solar winds that we won't be able to hold back. Okay. So, let's see. Let's get some oracle cards. All right. Okay, Spirit, any other messages that you have for the Collective of Humanity for um, last part of 2021, September through December? Show me September through December, please. Last message for Oracle cards for September through December 2021 for the Collective of Humanity, please. Um, okay, I can't take all that. I'll take these two. All right, I think this one came out first. All right, let's see. This says elder, but it's in reverse. It's 15, so 6. And it says, birth from seed within the belly of the moon. Can't make this up. They are the wise felt touches over our hearts and felt deep within the marrow of our spirit. But it's in reverse. It's something that we are, can't reap what you didn't sow. So let me see. Let's read it. 83 there's some we're still not listening to the elders and they're they've been giving us these warnings we haven't been listening so 83 my page real quick i'll read it to you <clears throat> so 83 says keywords compassion wisdom it says birth from seed okay worry about that part let me go on so since it's in reverse we're going to read that part it says when elders is in reverse know that you are in need of sage advice okay and should seek that advice before making any decisions. Now is the not now is not the time to act impulsively. Okay, um, we got, got the impulsive. You do not have everything you need to move forward at this time. Likewise, during the next moon phase, take special care to think before you speak. You may be in danger of saying things that cannot be taken back. So yes, we need to go within and really discern what we need. Um, as a collective and what is relating to the earth during that time latter part of the year okay and then we have ritual okay number 33 my dog is trying to get okay all right there you go okay you're good you might see him there he is sorry you guys my dog he's scared of the fireworks <laughs> okay hey honey okay Oh, 
Okay, so it says, it says, you can feel them, wild creatures, linked by the very blood you will spill into your craft, a ritual of dedication to self and those who, whose gaze hold fire, but whose whispers carry you softly through the unknown. Okay, so we need to get on the right path of how we do things. All right, let me read this to you as well. Sorry, I can't really, he's kind of a big dog and this is a small space. All right, watch out, watch out. It's okay. He's scared of fireworks, you guys. Sorry about that. Let's see. All right, number 33. Let me find it. Okay. Okay. It talks about dedication and harnessing. It says, ritual is the very foundation of a witch's practice. Um, it is the doorway to worlds unseen and a rite of passage. It is the deliberate honoring of the wise ones who've walked before us, the spiritual ones who watch over us. It is also a dedication of self, a place where you can find yourself in your practice and harness the power within. Ritual is a dedication to your craft and is about showing up for things that are essential to you, be it going to work, organizing your kids, um, or hitting the gym. Spiritual rituals are no different. If anything, they are even more critical than the day-to-day -day stuff or lo of life. Um, it is important to take time to honor your magic and the magic of those you call upon. By doing so, you are making a choice. If you have, if you have pulled a ritual, it is because you are being drawn to honor your magic in a more profound way. You are being asked to explore your power as a witch truly, and to find the proper time and energy to develop your craft. Making time to honor each step of the ritual magic through intention is like sending out a beacon saying, I'm here and ready to own my power as a witch. The powers that that be will, will notice your efforts and begin to give you more power as a reward. So yeah, somebody here is going to be trying to, um, I don't know if it's good or bad. I mean, you know good intentions and white magic i don't feel like it's necessarily bad but i feel like somebody here is going to begin with that magician and then the oh, i keep getting the, the 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 black pope or something like that there's something about that um like the black road pope or something just need to pay attention to that make sure you're doing um cleansing and spiritual stuff all year next year for sure make it a commitment to do spiritual baths your spiritual cleansing you know cleansing your home spiritually as well as physically cleaning your home and whatnot okay you guys so this is what i have for the last part of 2021 so september through december if you would like to get a personal reading with me not a scammer okay um all the information will be in the comment section below uh, my email so you can email me as well as my um youtube channel if you're watching from youtube um all the information will be in the description box below please like share comment and subscribe don't forget to hit the notification bell that way you know the next time i upload Okay, as always, please take care of yourself. Until next time, bye.